Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install RSAT for Active Directory on Windows 11 computers. RSAT is nothing but remote server administration tools and it is one of the most common tools used for server administration from Windows 10 or from Windows 11 computers. Windows 11 computers which are joined to an Active Directory domain are needed to use RSAT tools to manage the servers in an environment. On the earlier versions of Windows desktop operating system, you had to download the RSAT tools and install it manually. But the good news is that you don't need to download a standalone setup for remote server administration tools RSAT on Windows 11. On Windows 11, RSAT is included. You just need to have appropriate administrative access and internet connection to download the RSAT. And just so you know, you cannot install RSAT on Windows 11 Home Edition. Okay, so now let me show you how you can install RSAT on Windows 11. So I'm going to click on Start and open up Settings. And on the left side, click on Apps. And on the right side, click on Optional Features. And now click on View Features, which is right next to Add an Optional Feature. Okay, now in the window, Add an Optional Feature, simply type RSAT and you'll get a whole list of RSAT tools that you can install on Windows 11. So you have Active Directory Certificate Services, Active Directory Domain Services, BitLocker, DHCP, DNS, Failover Clustering, File Service Tool, Group Policy Management, and Network Load Balancing, Remote Access Management, Server Manager, and a whole lot of other RSAT tools. Okay, I'm going to scroll up and I'm going to select RSAT Active Directory Domain Services and Lightweight Directory Services Tools. Select that and click on Next. And it says that it will install this and the file size is 37 meg. So I'm going to click on Install. All right, so it says uh, installed. I'm going to click on Start. And I'll just type Active Directory. And you can see all the MMC snap-ins which are related to Active Directory shows up here, such as Active Directory users and computers, sites and services, domains and trusts, administrative center. So you can use these MMC snap-ins to manage your Active Directory domain. I hope you find this video useful. For more videos like these, please subscribe to my channel.